Hey, crafty friends. Welcome back to the old paper lady. I'm Maureen. If you're new here, thank you for watching. I'm going to continue working on some fall ephemera. I hope y'all don't mind. I got a lot of uh, ephemera I need to get made. So I'll probably continue to work on it. It'll be ephemera week, basically. Because I don't have any fall ephemera. I mean, I have, you know, basically started from scratch with fall ephemera. Other than, you know, cut of parts that I made uh, for my photo albums that I made last year. So I don't have any kind of fall ephemera pieces. Now I have found uh, a beautiful kit that I've been talking about from uh, Girl One Art. These are uh, it's autumn florals. She had a uh, so I printed, uh, there were two kits. Let's see. And both of them just say autumn florals. Now one, ha you know, is just the, f the floral patterns. So then this one also says autumn florals, but it had some, uh, well, let me see. Okay, these were the off prints that I did. That's what this is. I'm sorry. There is one kit. One kit. Autumn floral. These are where my my printer messed up and just jerked the paper in wrong and quit printing. So it was autumn florals. And that is by uh, Girl One Art. And then there's a kit that was uh, like the uh, eight and a half by 11. And it is by Girl One Art as well. And it just says Autumn. And these have uh, like pumpkins, florals, and diff just pretty, pretty. Uh, and that has like cattails in it, the sweaters, mushrooms, the fall trees, just beautiful kits. And uh, at the time that I bought them, they were a dollar uh, forty-two a piece. So I thought we could try to make some ephemera bits with those. I was wanting to cover uh, a couple of envelopes. Hopefully, we can get that done today. And I'm probably just not even gonna use these. I thought about it, but I was—I don't know if I will or not. Cause I've got those two big tall tags. Remember that we made yesterday. So I was thinking they would go in here. So I need to cover the inside of this, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna take and just make, and just you cover up some of these junk envelopes and use them as pockets or probably maybe even just use them as tags. I've got so many of these things y'all, I got to use them up. So this is part of our, uh, let's use up some of our stuff that we've been accumulating. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I love this green. I think that is just beautiful. Now these can be fairly simple or complicated. Now the best way that I've found to take and cover these envelopes, and these are, uh, let's see, these are just a regular old junk mail envelope and they are nine and a half inches. So I'm thinking, <coughs> excuse me, that I want to cover and I want to fold this bottom piece up. But I'm thinking that if I just wrap it around and cover it, I think we can do that and just cut it. So I'm just going to put the paper on it like so. And then just cut it down. And I think we should be able to cover this whole envelope with this page. I think we can do it. I think we can. May need to trim just a smidge, but I think it, we will be able to cover that. And just wrap it around, and then we'll cut this piece off. So I'm going to do a couple of them. So I like that one, and there was a real pretty red one in here. That one, that burgundy color there, like that. 
just all kinds of beautiful floral papers and I love that that's so pretty and then there's uh, like a more white with the green I like that a lot too so we may make a few of these and what I'm gonna do like I said is just take the paper and wrap it around it and that's kind of a brown color love that love that so we're gonna play with these four pages right here out of this floral autumn florals by girl one art so now also the kit that i got is cozy autumn by girl one art on etsy beautiful kit love it and that is just the pages that came with the kit just awesome awesome kit y'all and then she had some uh bookmarks that i'm going to use for tags she had the uh, autumn forest and then it was um uh, what was the other one? Cozy Reader, I think it was. Something Cozy Reader. I know these are sideways. Yes, Autumn Reading Bookmarks. Girl One Art. Go check her out, y'all. She has some beautiful fall papers, florals, you know. And so I printed out these few kits, and I was like, I'm done. That's all I need. I can make... I'm going to try to print just the coffee or tea dye on the back of those pages. And that's going to be my kits. But I got to make a bunch of ephemera, y'all. Just tons and tons of ephemera. And I, I just love this. I mean, is that not beautiful? I think that's going to give me a good mix. And I want this teal in here to go with my uh, tags that I made yesterday. You know, with the teal trucks and stuff. And then the cut off of these. We can make us another, uh, another one of those, uh, whatchamacallits, you know, where, where we made yesterday, master boards. <laughs> I'm losing it, y'all. But I had planned on doing a, a stamping video today because I wanted to, to do, uh, to do some stamping to try to make some, and, and I'm still probably going to print these out again and do that with it where you take the, the label stamps and put them on your four by six uh, block and just stamp the labels on it. I want to do that so bad with these papers because it's going to be so beautiful. And you can use these, you know, it's, it's floral. And so you can use it any time of the year. So that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, that would be just awesome. So I'll probably print these and and do that stamping on it where, you know, where it's the label stamps. And I think that would just be so beautiful. All right, so I'm going to get this big newspaper bit here out that I've been gluing and stamping and stuff on because I'm going to need that to try to glue this. <coughs> so that's what we're going to try to use to do our get one piece I'm gonna use, use this up and this is just one of those free local flyer things that is in our in our uh in our area it's called like a surrey scene or something like that it's news of the area blah 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 so i think it would probably be better to put my glue on my envelope and then take and put put my paper put it to my paper if i could spit the words out I hope everybody's doing okay today. Uh, I have now got fluid on my right lung. Yay me. So that is why I still have the uh, the cough, the annoying cough. And that's why I still have the, uh, the raspiness to my voice. Because I still have leftoverness of that uh, crud. And I'm telling y'all, I, I don't, I don't know if it's, uh, I mean, they have gave me COVID tests and gave me COVID tests and keep saying I'm negative for COVID. And I'm just like, are you sure? Go away. There's an ad in here in my face. And I'm just like, you know, it's not the sickest I've ever been. It's just, you know. It's the annoyingness of sickness that I've ever been. I can tell you that now. Even with antibiotics and uh, inhaler, 
and uh, I'm just, I'm done with the sick. I'm over being sick. I'm just telling you. Just so over it. I'm just going to glue this shut because I don't want my, uh, now I don't know. I have not decided if I want to make these tags or if I want to make these pockets. I have not decided that as of yet. I need to get this folded straight here. For one thing. Get it on there straight. Hold your mouth right so you can get it on there straight, honey. <laughs> That's the saying for uh, country folks. You gotta hold your mouth straight so it'll work, you know. So then... It's going to give me that little strip, and then I'll cut this end here off, and we'll have that strip to play with in a master board situation. And then we're going to have us a covered envelope, and I'm going to wind up cutting it down to where it's about eight inches, and then I'll take this little piece and have a pocket. That is the plan. Well, supposedly that's the plan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's my plan. Whether the paper decides it wants to work with it or not. Well, that's yet to be decided. you straight up here. If not, we'll just trim it. It'll be fine. And it's going to feel a little fuff, uh, puffy because, you know, it's that envelope and the envelope has air in it. And it'll feel that way until you cut, you know, the bits off of it that we're going to cut off. Now, on this end, I'm just going to cut to where the envelope is. As soon as I find my scissors, I'm going to put a fold on it so I'll know where to cut. I only really need my scissors for that. I just want to cut this end off, leaving my envelope intact. That's what I'm doing at the moment. So then, then we'll have this piece here that we can use in our scraps. All right. So now what I want to do is see where we didn't quite get it all the way to the end right there. This is the end I'm going to cut because I know the top end is straight now. So I'm going to take this end and I need to measure. I need to measure it down to about... I think I'm going to do it to about seven. And I'm just going to put a fingernail crease in it. You can see that little fingernail crease. So I'm going to do that. And that is where I'm going to cut this. So essentially, my envelope is going to be open now at the top here, which is fine. We can make this, keep this little piece here and make it a tip-in flip out, put a tag in it, and this can be a pocket. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to mix, mix match the papers. keep that little strip just for the heck of it we don't know we might use it okay so now well that didn't work did it 
There we go. Gunner Inker back. He's trying to run away. It's escaping Inker. So let me clear my area up and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to ink around these. Now the bigger one, we can make it, we can just glue that closed. We can glue this, glue this closed, which I'm probably going to do on this one and just trim the white off and make it a, a, some type of a tag. I don't know, but I, what I want to do is I want to make this like a tip in in my journal. So this is going to fold. We may have to put a, some washi tape on it, and if so, that is perfectly fine as well. Because I don't know if that's going to be, if that is going to hold. So what I'm wanting to do, like, uh, want to get my sample page because I got one here somewhere, and I'll show you my idea. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So now say this is your page in your journal. All right. So then this would be glued here. You probably need to put a belly band situ or uh, like a side tuck situation and you can do it and glue it down on the page and then this be a flip out if I can hang on to it. So that would flip out and in your pocket, you would have a pocket here for a tag. That's what I'm thinking I want to do and whether I do that or not, I don't know. But I know for sure this is going to be a pocket. There it is. All right, so this will be a pocket. I'm going to glue this side here. So that we would have this as a pocket. And you can put your, uh, you can put a tag in here. And I may just glue it in an L shape. And you have a double-sided pocket. That was my thoughts. And then also, I thought about taking, like, covering the, uh, another envelope with that and taking this and mix matching the papers and making that the pocket on that. And that may be a little blendy, I think. I don't think that's quite going to work as a tip end, do y'all? I don't think that's quite long enough. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it folded over for now. But I like that. I like it a lot. Now, do we want to make you a pocket on the page? Yeah, because see, that's going to take up a bit of a, a bit. We can put it in the middle. Yeah, we can put it in the middle and make it a pocket. That would be pretty for that. I just thought that. I know this for sure is going to be a pocket, so. I think I messed up. I trimmed a little too much off of this right here, so I'm just going to glue this side back down. And I'm going to take some of that glue off. I guess it's going to be a day where the glue just comes out on its own. And then that's going to be our pocket. I'm going to put me a pull in it. Then I'm going to eat this. Now you can ink your envelope if you want to beforehand. I kind of want to wait until I get done covering it. So then if I need to ink it, you know, I will. Which, I'll, you know, we're going to ink anyways. Okay. So now these pieces here that we cut off of this. Because we're going to glue this down to the page. We can take... And we can cover that inside. And I 
think I will do that right there. Cover that inside so that it does not uh, see that blue mess. Trying to figure out which way's up. Well, this is beginning to be a little more difficult than I had imagined. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to get it done. So then I'm just going to take this and fold it over the top of it. And I'll repunch that hole punch. That's fine. Hold that down till it catches good. So then the inside of our envelope where it has that blue is covered. I'm trying to cut this and not cut my envelope. That is the trickiest part about working with these envelopes, is trying to cut it, the papers off to the sides, without trying, without cutting your envelope. And it is pouring rain here again at my house this evening. It's been raining here off and on for like two days. Could be another reason why I'm staying so choked up because when it rains, I, I have allergies to that as well. You know, we can't do nothing without having an allergic attack to something around here, it seems like. Okay, so there's our pocket. Let's see, do I want to leave that like that or do I want to cut it? I'm trying to see if I can ink it up enough to where I wouldn't have to recut that. I'm just going to recut it because I don't like that. course it was wet because we just glued it but that's okay it cut it and then the inside of our envelope is covered now you can cover the inside of your envelope if you want to before you do to cover it so that that's yeah it would probably be better off if you did that so that is a pocket now this piece I think I'm just going to glue it down because I don't think that little flippity flap there is going to hold it like I thought so. Alright, so now we're just going to uh, trim this off the best that we can without cutting our envelope, hopefully. Y'all pray for us now. We gonna, we're going in with the blade. Hopefully we won't cut our envelope. Pretty sure I did. Yep, I sure did. Alrighty. Why didn't you just glue that on around it and just leave it alone, knucklehead? That's what you could have done and just quit. 
that's quite all right because I'm just going to take a little skim of glue and run it right down it here. <laughs> okay, so now we are having a what not to do. <laughs> Don't do what I'm doing. Do as I tell you to, and maybe it'll work out better for you. And then we're just going to put that down as a pocket on the page. That'll be a tall pocket, a whole page pocket. All right, because that's not working how I envision it to work, but we're still going to save it and use it. And it's going to be a tall pocket on a page. It'll be a whole page pocket. And that's what I'm going to do with it. I think the next envelope would be better if we just covered the outside bits of it and then fixed the flap somehow. Just a hair, don't we? Just a smidge. side of that envelope again this one I think I will let it dry before I mess with it and try to cut it <clears throat> and we had a, a pretty good storm this afternoon came through and it was a uh, thunder and lightning and stuff and it uh, thundered like a couple of times and then the bottom fell out and then at work, there's a field, like a hay field across from my store. And so it struck lightning there and the, the everything, you know, lit up. And then it just, you know, cracked thunder real bad and just rolled. I mean, the thunder just rolled, you know. And I was like, wow. <laughs> so, and then uh, the bottom fell out. And it has been doing it off and on all evening now, again. This envelope's gonna be messed up. So I may have to put a skinnier tag in it than the actual envelope is because this side keeps wanting to come undone when I buckle it to get that top piece in there. It came apart over here where we'd already re-glued it. That's all right. We'll fix it. I don't like my tags being snug snug because it, you, I don't want it to be cumbersome to get it in and out. You know, I want to be able to pull my tags in and out. Pucker this up one more good time. Get the ink on it really good there. And let's lich that back together. Now you can do this as well and uh, take and put you some uh, writing paper on the back, coffee dye or tea dye paper, and you could have it as a tag. Alright, so now we got those those pockets done. 
Now let's see what we want to put on them. We're going to try to decorate some bits. Sweater bit. And put us a little mushroom bit on there. Or so, oh, I like that. I'm going to do that with it. And this, these cut aparts also came with that 172 piece kit from uh, Girl One Art. That's why I said I love that with the little sweaters. That is just plum cute, the little sweater bits. I'm sorry, y'all. I had envisioned that that was going to be able to have like a flip out from the page where I could take and, you know, just flip it. But I didn't measure my envelope quite, quite good enough. That's gonna blend in too much there. Do we want one of you on there as well, maybe? Without breaking the stem off of it is what I'm trying to do. I think I actually kind of want that on there. I'm thinking something like that. I like that actually. I gotta hold it up and look at it because you know I'm looking kind of at an angle down on it. That's why I like being above my stuff so I can see what it's actually looking like. on here. Yeah, let's put that on there and we'll put a label bit over here of some sort. And I think I'm still going to just do these bits on there because I don't want to take away from the florals, you know. I think we'll just do that on that and that'll be fine and dandy. Alright, now I hid my glue for myself. There it is. <laughs> You all would be so funny. Like, if you see my craft room, I showed you a few snippets of, like, where I sit and craft. And I have this organizer over here to my left to where, you know, when I get done with stuff, I put it right back in it, supposedly, to keep my desk cleaned up so I don't feel claustrophobic while I'm working. Because if I get the claustrophobic feeling, I can't think straight. So, and then I'll look and I'm like, well, what did I do with my glue? It's in the same spot it's always at. Look for it. It's in the exact same spot it was all the time. Just turn your head. It's right there, you know. <laughs> so, so when I look, I'm like, what did I do with my glue? I'm like, oh, yeah, I put it back where it actually went, you know, where it goes. Yeah, that, that's so funny. My daughter's like, well, uh, you put it where it's supposed to be. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> on there, don't I? So that's a couple of nice little pockets front and back. So now I gotta do another pocket. What was it? That was another one I needed to match for the other one I did yesterday. I got it put up.
trying to get that leaf stem on there. Oh, that's gonna be cute. And then see when you open when your pocket opens, it's covered. So if you're looking at it on your page, it's covered. And you don't see that blue mess. Because this will be glued. I guess we're gonna glue it down. I might look in my uh, box and see if I what kind of washi tape I have that's fall-ish thing. Ooh wee. Thunder, y'all. Thunder. Thunder, thunder. <laughs> thunder. <laughs> I need a thunder buddy. I'm scared. But, yep. Yeah. So, I may not be on here too much longer. <laughs> With that being said, oh, this is what I was going to do. I was going to fold this and make a pocket out of it. So, I need a small book page for that. To make it a sturdier pocket. Let's do this one here. So I'm just going to glue this on this book page. And I want to take and make this a pocket. Like a, a side tuck pocket. And it'll match the other one that we did yesterday. Yep. I'm going to glue that down and we'll have that one made. I was like, what? I'm moving stuff away from me. That's why I'm like, where is this? What did I do with that? Because usually everything goes to the left. But I moved that over here to the right just now. I think my daughter's going to try to take my dog out before it starts uh, storming too bad. Because, see, it was pouring the rain. I mean, it re literally was just pouring the rain. Now, we live in a stick-built house. And if you can hear it rain inside the stick-built house, you know it's doing some raining. And, uh, so I said, well, I'm going to sit down here and try to get my video done. Hopefully, it won't, it won't storm too bad. Well, that was a roll of thunder to you. Y'all hear that? Yeah, we getting us a thunder boomer. That is a good old fashioned thunder boomer in the middle of the night. It's like almost uh, one o'clock. I think, yeah. Yeah, it's after one because I sat down at 12.30 something to start filming. And I've been on here 40 minutes. But yeah, so I'm probably going to wind up getting off of here. Just a... Uh, for the sake of my electronic stuff here, you know, my lights, my phone, and all of that, I don't want it to, which I've got it plugged into a power surge, but you know. And I'll save these bits for, uh, put them in my scrap. Put it, we'll just put it in our scrap book, book page stuff. this is I think I'm going to cut it at an angle here like this and make it a side tuck. I thought about doing it completely at an angle but I don't think that's going to hold much. So let's just cut just the top bit of this off because then it'll still have the pumpkin and the leaf on it and we'll just cut this top piece right here off just just the corner bit. So it'll it'll be a pretty decent small little tuck spot that'll match the other one. Yeah. So then see we'll glue it on the page like this. And then that'll be a good little tuck spot. So see we can do that. And then we can put this in there. And we can put us a piece of writing paper on the back. And then we can put a tag in it. And voila. That would be cute, wouldn't it? I like that idea. We'll put that in the scraps. But, yep, so that's going to be our little tuck spot the pocket situation. So, I've got, like I said, i got these bookmarks that I said, I'm, oh, that would be perfect to make tags out of, you know? 
And then I have all these beautiful papers here. And I said, well, I want to make some floral bits. So I think we'll work on doing that. Uh -oh. Now Snoop's barking because it, it, it's storming. He don't like it when it storms. That's another reason why I said I'll probably wind up getting off here if it keeps thundering like that because he gets upset when he's in his house because he just hears the racket. He don't know what it's coming from. <laughs> he don't he don't like thunder. This book page was it glued down was it glued together that well? So I'm just making sure all my corners and stuff are together. So when I go to put this on a page, I'm gonna do my sample page, stuck it over here, so we can put it like on this. And then you would take your stuff and tuck it in here like that. That was, that's what I'm gonna do with that, just a small little corner tuck. And then that would be pretty to have on the other, other page as a pocket. Now when you do this pocket, where it's that envelope, you could have it as a corner tuck and you just glue in an L shape. So you'd put it down and glue here and then you could tuck behind it and then you could have the pocket part as well. So yeah, so I think that would be a, a pretty little uh, double page type situation to do that with. And then this, like I said, will have a tag in it. It would be like a removable piece. So you'd have your tag in it, and then I'm gonna take and put me a coffee dye paper. I'm gonna like glue it to it, and then like zigzag fold it and have it on there. And I think that will be a cute little piece. <coughs> All right, let me show you that coffee dye I'm talking about situation. Because, you know, I'm, I'm a visual learner, you know what I'm saying? So, I got to see it. So, it'd be like, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. But now, you know, when I make my my books, I don't, I don't know. It's some things I'm very visual. Some things I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I can do this. I can do that, you know, and just kind of plan a whole, a whole book out in my head. And, but stuff like this, I'm like, well, you know, they're... They're going to want to see a visual of it. All right. So this, we need to trim it down to match. Uh, you want to go up about a quarter inch from the top and about a quarter inch from the bottom. So we need to trim this down all the way down. So, and then I'm just going to take and zigzag it glue it to it and zigzag fold it. Alright, so I need that to be about six and a half inches wide because my envelope is seven inches this way. And we'll take that good little piece of scrappy scrap. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is turn it over Make sure it's upright, and I'm going to glue this here, and I'm going to take my paper, i got to turn it this way so I can fold it. Make sure it's straight. And this is 40 pound uh, printer paper that I get from Staples. This is what I usually print all of my digitals on. I, I love that paper. I just love the feel of it. And then I'm just trying to get it to the edge over here the best I can to match up.
Now we can take and just glue this flap here down, but see it's gonna hang over. So if you glue that down, you need to move it over some. And so then you can put your tab on this and you can write on that. That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna trim that edge up. I need to change my cutter on my scoreboard. My cutter, I got a cutter uh, scoreboard from uh, We Are Memory Keepers. That's when they were really We Are Memory Keepers. Like, I couldn't even tell you how old that cutter is. You can still find it on Amazon. And it's, but the blades are hard to find because see, well, there you go. It's the one that hooks over it. So, those suckers are hard to come back because now everything has got the blade that's in the middle, you know. Even their new uh, all-in-one thing. And the reason I like this is because, you know, I do a lot of 12 by 12 uh, books measurements with the papers. So, like, I'll cut it. I'll make my book 8, nine, eight by 8 and then I'll take the 12 by 12 sheets of cardstock and cut it down to eight inches high, but I'll use the whole 12 inch and make flips and flaps on it. So that's why I have to have a full size school board with a blade on it. All right, so now do I wanna do that like that? Yeah, I'm going to put that shorter side down. I'm just trying to figure out which side do I want it because I'm going to put it on, go them out this way because the majority, and don't beat me up left-handers, but majority of people are right-handed. So then that will glue down and this will pull out this way to write on and then you have this, you know, and it's going to be removable from, from the journal anyway, so that's fine. I'm just going to even it up with my fold. is a little off, and we're going to even it up. I'm going to put this down. Keep moving the glue paper. I'm going to put this down with wet glue that. That stick glues it wear my nerves out. All right, and I said it was going to go out this way, so I need to glue it on this side. <laughs> oh yeah. Now you can actually take this and glue it down and have a little tuck behind it as well, but I think that'd be a bit much. Cause this paper is thick enough for that. this. I'm not going to fold it up. Make sure it's right side up. Alright. I'm going to pull my paper up. Make sure that it's straight on here. The only reason I put it down folded up is because I didn't want my edge to be folded over the front of the uh, the front of it. You see what I'm saying? And then I'm just evening it up a little bit because I know some of that glue is gonna come out from underneath there, and I didn't want to get my whole page glued down. I, you know, well, why not? Well, because you know I done messed up enough in one video. We couldn't, you know, mess up the whole video. Okie dokie. I'm just running my finger around that, make sure that that glue is off of there. So then we can put that down like that. And then when you tuck it in your spot, you won't even know it's back there, see? And then you can pull it out and you have a, have a hidden journal spot, front and back. And if you wanted to, you could put a little paper clip on it. I'm not going to because I'm just going to put it in my little tuck spot like this. And that's going to be my hidden journal spot. 
and you won't know about it until you pull it out and look at it. <laughs> Sneaky. I love little things like that, little hidden journal journal bits. And that was a roundabout way to show you that. Because, and that's honestly come out of uh, my first idea that I had envisioned did not quite work. Because I really did want this to be a flip out pocket, you know. So then, I'll have that, one of those taller tags that we had yesterday that we made to go in there. And what did I do with them? I put them up in my boxes, that's what I did, y'all. Because you know how I do, I work and I'll put my stuff that I make in my collection boxes until I get enough that I think I got enough to fill my journal or to go ahead and make my journal. So I just did my collection boxes. So I got a tag box, I got a pocket box, and I got a journal card box. So let's see. We can take this bit here. And put that in it and have the truck sticking out. And we can take this piece here, which I think I like this piece here better. I think it matches it better. And we can do that with it. Now that tag, I'm probably going to have to snip it down because let me guess, it's eight and a half. <laughs> of course it is. Why would it not be? All right, so I'm going to snip the bottom bit. I want it to be seven and a half, so I need to take an inch off of it, or thereabouts. Close to an inch anyways. I done put it back up. Good gracious, woman. You can't have nothing, can you? <coughs> okay. So, we'll take this. And I'm just using this as a tuck spot. I'll probably wind up doing an angle for, like, the whole page. This is folded up. It's going in. This is going to be like on the corner of the page here. And so I'm just seeing if that is going to fit in something like that and not stick out the top. I don't want it above the page. Now, like, you know, the frilly uh, lacy bits and stuff, it can stick up above the page and outside of the journal itself. Because I usually have about a half of an inch on the top and about a half inch on the bottom other than my papers. So, yeah. I like that. That is cute. So, well, I know we got two tag bits that'll fit in there. And I need to turn this one down too as well. Because <gasps> it's eight and a half and it's going to stick out at the top of anything we put it in. See, this would be pretty on this one. See, with the with the, the truck with the color sticking out. That's what I'm thinking for that pocket envelope thing. The bob. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty for that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put this tag in here with this. And then guess what? I got a green. And I think we'll go with this. Give it to me already, good gracious. Wow. Okay. Nope, it's not the right, not the right color green, is it? 
Not quite. Let's see. I got a burnt orange that's probably going to kind of match them flowers, I think. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I like that. We're going to use that. I'll use that one. That's the same one that's on these here. We'll use this one. There we go. That one's done. And we took a whole hour to do like one thing. <laughs> See, that's why I said some days you make a hundred pieces of ephemera. Some days you make one. <laughs> it just depends. Alright. Well, actually we made three. And then we put a... I love that journaling spot on there. That is a good little idea. So... I would try my best to put this in the middle of a signature and have this as the pocket on one side and this was probably not going to be the tuck. It will probably be um, this covered and have that as the tuck just for the matching, matchy, matchy, matchy billy of it. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. And then I would take, well... That would be in a because I would want to make this. We're gonna make that as the cover for that that one. So, anyways, we would make a different tuck spot. Here we go. Something like this, you know, because I got some more of these, and that would be really pretty. Take that and make that a tuck spot, not with the thumb pull on it, you know. And then you have this piece over here in the middle of a book. All right, so there's my matchy matchy piece for this big pocket. And actually that big pocket would work with that. I don't like those color bits together, but yeah, so there's that matchy bit for that pocket set. So I like to have kind of, you know, front and back matchy pockets. I don't know why I just do. So that's that set. And then this will be like a middle, a middle vignette, <laughs> so to speak. Now I can take, cover me an envelope in this paper and make me a tag out of that paper. That would be really pretty. We'll figure it out. But that so far is our, I'm going to put that set in there with that tag because I'm with that tag with that because it matches you know, pretty good with that, I think. So, we'll put that in there with the pockets. And it's already set up and ready to go. So, I'm going to get off of here for today. And I'm sorry it took a whole hour to do, you know, like three things. But, you know, we covered the front and the back of the envelope. We... Uh, glued it, we made it in the pocket, and then we made another tuck spot, and then we fixed our tag bit, so. And a lot of it is, you know, just sitting down, because, you know, I put my stuff up and I get it back out. Now, I am leaving it on my desk. I'm not putting it up, putting it up. So, everything is still on my actual desk when I sit down every evening. I just put it in its boxes, you know. So these are the pieces we're going to try to play with because uh, I want these and because these are the colors, you know, just beautiful fall, lovely, beautiful fall colors. So I'm going to take this and put it with this paper because that's what we're working on first thing tomorrow. And I am going to look through my washi to see if I have some prettier uh, 
not prettier, but pretty fall-ish type papers. So I'm gonna put that in that and put it up so I won't accidentally spill nothing on it, you know, with my sleepwalking self. <laughs> There we go. And that's why I was like, ain't no wonder I'm tired because I don't even rest in my sleep. I get up and walk around like a lunatic. And my daughter tells me I would not believe how often that I get up and I walk around the house in my sleep. She's like, yeah, you'll come in there and be like, hey, love you. Okay, then. And turn around and walk off. And I won't have not one memory of it. Not a bit. <laughs> Well, ain't no wonder I'm so tired because if I'm up sleepwalking half the night thinking I'm actually asleep, that's why I'm so tired. Right, I'm going to put these bits in our little collection bag of fall goodies. And see, like I was saying, I have, you know, this strip be real pretty with that, uh, with that floral paper with the, with the green on it and that one. And then we have another one of these that we can take and just make a little... A little corner tuck with it It'd be really pretty or we can just take and glue it on the page and just make a whole page pocket out of it that would be pretty so i'll put that in there this will go with my uh, regular scrippy scraps for backings i have backing scraps and backing papers and such and if you're wondering that coffee dye pack kit came from Etsy and it is a uh, digital fit that's a nine page kit of coffee dye I love to use that and then the tea dye one is a uh, tea stain printable papers it came from uh, country mouse prints and it is uh, I think it's 21 or 27 pages I can't remember but it, it's a bit so, like, I printed a few times front and back since so that's my uh, journal field papers. Because, you know, I, I work 50 hours a week. I don't, and, like, this week, I had to go in the day. And I planned on sitting here and was going to make, you know, some crafty stuff. Nope. Had to work Sunday. Wasn't supposed to work Sunday. So, you know, I'm coming off of uh, my pneumonia, -ness, which I still have pneumonia, apparently. Uh coming off of all of that and I've worked had one day off since I was like in the bed sick with it so I mean there ain't no wonder I can't get better you know what I'm saying <laughs> so this is all of my play bits for like you know my decorative bits I have the Tim Holtz ephemera box I have Timo uh, sticker box for the florals and then I've got a butterfly box so that's my decorating suspects right there. And I just keep them over here on my desk for right now while I'm doing ephemera bits. Because, you know, you never know what you're going to need. All right. So I got my mess straightened up. And I have everything packed up. And I'm going to get off here. Thank y'all uh, for coming along and watching today's video. I hope you like that little... Uh, <coughs> the little removable pocket journal spot. I'm probably not the first one that's made that. I'm pretty positive sure. I haven't seen it done, but I'm probably not the first one because, like I said, I'm I'm new to junk journaling. I have been doing it uh, since the first of uh, the January of this year. I started watching Gail Gustinelli last year sometime, and you know I was a scrapbooker. I made uh, mini albums. That was my thing, and I still make them. And then I got into watching. Uh, may may uh may may crafts uh she made the folios you know so i went into that and then i started watching rosa kelly and she makes the mini albums and then I, that's that's what i do i love pretty paper basically and that's about it so i'm going to get off here and quit yakking that storm and still the thunder has calmed down but it's lightning so y'all have a good night pray for us Pray for everybody in Florida, by the way, and Gulf Coast area, actually, because, you know, even though it's going to come through Florida, 
it that storm is gonna be something else in the Gulf Coast with the with the uh, high tide sea levels and everything. And uh, if you all watch uh, Miss E, Edith, scrapbooking with me, she talks about her friend Betty a lot from Betty's Custom Designs. She has her own uh, YouTube channel. Um, pray for her because the path is taking this storm supposed to be predicted to go like right over to her house. So, and she also has a YouTube channel. It's Betty's Custom Designs. Uh, go over and give her a prayer. And um, also we have uh, Miss Nilda scrapbooking with Nilda. Uh, pray for her. I know she's in Florida. Uh, she she is uh, going to be. A little bit on the south side of where it's coming in or like the east side of it but still with the storm surge you know it's florida florida you know it, it's not that wide and, and you know it's, it's just going to be awful just pray for all of our friends that we know that i know of that watch my channel or that i watch that live in the florida area um just keep them in your thoughts and prayers and thank y'all so much y'all have a good day